I got a special tiny house tour of my place in Hawaii. Coming up. Hi friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a special treat for you. I have been tiny house living out here on Oahu for about two years now and it's a really great spot, super cute. I have my own studio, lots of greenery, amazing neighbors, an ornate Buddhist temple practically right next door. So I'm going to give you a special little treat of my house today and show you how I kind of keep things organized too. Um, if you enjoy it, please thumbs up and subscribe. It gives a long way for helping me grow my channel. So I'm so glad to have you. Mwah. Enjoy! Yay! Living, I mean, it's amazing. It's not a lot of space. I would say the whole apartment is maybe 425, maybe to 450 square feet. Not big at all. It's pretty small, but uh, but yeah, we love it, you know. Um, and it's funny I'm saying we, and it's funny that I'm talking about how much I love it, considering this obviously is a breakup vlog as well. Um, but you know, it's one of those things. A, I've been meaning to like do a little filming around here pretty much since I moved in about two years ago and wouldn't you know I finally found the time <laughs> when I'm like about to move out and B breakup uh, it's like one of those things you know luckily this has been a more amicable breakup um, very amicable actually uh, Tim is like is not was but is one of the best people I've ever known in my life and um, I'm really fortunate to have spent the last almost four years with him but you know, without getting into the muddy details, just sometimes people have a hard time communicating, sometimes people don't see eye to eye at the same time, you know, and it's one of those things that's like, 
I don't know. You just, you just gotta make a change if you realize that what you're doing isn't working for you. I know that um, I have been way more out in the open and way more prolific with my art making and doing all that stuff this entire last year. But like behind the scenes inside, I've been actually having some like struggles and some issues and sometimes when like, I don't know, I don't want to go into details, but you know, it's just, you get unsettled, things aren't always what they seem, and it's going to be good for me to pitch out on my own. As you can guess, as part of a breakup, when you are part of a couple living together, I am now been solo searching for my own little studio place I really feel like it's important for me to get a spot by myself and not have super close roommates for one I need the room like I have to be able to have my personal belongings which I don't have much out here in Hawaii I unfortunately do have a storage unit on the East Coast because I couldn't ship everything I owned out here but um, I do have you know my personal stuff and then I also need to have art making space and obviously filming space and natural lighting is a big deal to me and all that kind of stuff so I've been searching around Craigslist but luckily a friend of mine hooked me up with this other girl and I think fingers crossed I'm about to take over this amazing little like bungalow holy crap if I get this apartment it's gonna be amazing I should be signing the lease like any day now so I don't like to you know put all my eggs in one basket so to speak and count on something before I've got it definitely but uh, but yeah that's really exciting um it's going to be great. I have not lived by myself a whole lot in my life. I have a couple other times. Um, but it's really nice because you wind up focusing super hardcore. One of the times that I lived alone, I was... Oh, I guess one time I was running my own business when I used to sell my patchwork clothes and stuff like travel festival style, you know, and locally too, of course, craft shows, you know, patchwork clothes, all that good stuff. It was a lot of fun. I did that for a few years. Um, but another time was when I was in graduate school. And man, I was so focused. Like I was just an art making machine. I was going to all these figure drawing sessions. I think I was going to three figure drawing sessions a week as well as all my other classes and everything. Like it was amazing. Um, but yeah, so I think this will be really good for me. It's definitely <laughs> an expensive decision. Hey. What's up? I'm actually filming right now. So, oh, okay, yeah, that's okay. But it will be good for me to be alone. <laughs> what timing, right? <sighs> Anyways, um, yeah, I don't want to talk forever because I can tend to kind of pontificate on these YouTube videos, but I think it's going to be a good change. I think I'm going to really focus even more on my art making and video making and just living life artfully, you know. Um, recently I've been doing a little bit of research on how to connect best with folks out here on YouTube because I enjoy making these videos but I really want to connect with people. I don't want just me to be talking at you. I really want to get to know people who are, you know, in the same boat as me or want to be or trying to live life more artfully. So. So what I'm trying to say is the goal of my channel is to live an artful life as much as I can and to share that with you and to also hear how you live artfully back with me. You know, I, I want to eat, live, sleep, breathe, visit, adventure, create, art, share, learn, love, all of it. You know, that's, that is how I am sculpting my life. And so that's what I want to do together with you. So. Anyways, I don't want to just be sitting here talking about myself all day long. That's what's going on with me. Fingers crossed on the new studio because I think it's going to be amazing. And other than that, you know, I'll keep you posted. Let me know what's going on with you. Uh, have any of you had the luxury of redoing your studio? Is there any amazing space saving tips or things like that? I am actually planning to make a lifted bed which should be really exciting for lots of storage space underneath so any kinds of ideas advice and things like that i would love to hear it and let me see oh um don't want to forget to tell you 
uh, jump down and sub on my uh, newsletter, my Birds of a Feather newsletter. Um, if you want a little bit more of the inside view about once a month, I write a pretty personal letter to everyone on that list. And if you want to kind of get the skinny skinny in your mailbox once a month, let me know. All right. I love you guys. You're amazing. You're the reason I do this. So thank you so much for being here.